Hi guys, today we are going to see how to convert a servo motor into a full rotation motor and control it in both the directions. Normally there are plenty of other tutorials where they show you how to convert a 180 degree rotation servo into a full rotation servo but they rotate in only one direction so they don't mention how to make it rotate in both the direction but this feature comes as part of the servo so today I'm going to show you how to make that possible I'll show you the output and this is the output what we are trying to achieve and the whole tutorial is going to be about it so if you see the servo is converted servo it's been converted into full rotation servo and it's rotating fully on one direction so if I need to change this to rotate on the opposite direction I just configured a joystick to do the job and once I give a signal to it and just rotates in the opposite direction and that's it and we are going to see how to make it possible so to start with you need a servo motor it can be anything any model but all it needs to be is a, a simple motor which is compatible with Arduino just to get an easy way to search in the internet so here I'm using this model craft Y3009 there is another one which is again model craft MC1811 and this is something which has no name in it but fundamentally the concept behind all of them is the same so So we are going to open this servo controller, servo motor and to open this you need actually a proper screwdriver but in this case I am using a sheet cutter. The tip of the sheet cutter is kind of not so sharp, it's blunt so I thought this will be handy enough. So let me start opening this like this basically there are two parts that needs to be changed in the servo one is the mechanical part which blocks it from moving beyond 180 degree another one is the electrical part let me remove this thing so, so when I remove this it kind of neatly comes away and here you can see the so arrangement here this is the topmost and just pull it pull it out pull it out pull it out so you have to keep in mind that you should remember the order in which you take it but it's kind of very simple you know that the topmost one will stand here and this is the second biggest gear wheel this is the third biggest and this is the smallest and the smallest comes along with a kind of a thimble which just stays here in the middle kind of a holder the smallest goes first and then the the next smallest and then and then top of that is the cable and so this is how your inside of the servo looks if you see here this is the one which is rotating 180 degree so there's nothing but a potentiometer 
it can just rotate 180 degree and if you see there is a blocker mechanical barrier here so this needs to be removed so that it can rotate 360 degree this is one and also that the topmost thimble also has a kind of a blocker this needs also to be removed when that is done then we will cover the electronic part So to remove this barrier, we will just pull this part, which will bring it to some level of vicinity. Uh, here you can see this this barrier. So what I'm going to do now is just cut these two part and then just remove it. And anything what hinders it, I, I'll just scrap it and make it move really so I've removed the barrier here and you can see that I can just put the knob and just rotate it and it just rotates without any block that's the important thing what we want to achieve and we got it there can be a mild friction there but we can go further in making it more perfect but this is quite enough for a smooth rotation Now let's get to the electronic part. Like if you see here, this is a potentiometer with three wires. And if you see the middle wire, this gives the controller inside the position at which the, the knob is and using which the controller can decide the direction. So what we need to do now is just take the middle wire and use it as a GPIO so that using which we can control the direction So now I have soldered the wire to the pin and in general I have used this model craft servo motor but it will be the same or similar in all other motors too. So we can choose, it doesn't matter any servo motor but it will have the same thing. Now I'm putting it back into its shelf.
So if you see here, um, uh, along with the three wires, just like, just like this, I'm also bringing a fourth wire to control the direction. Now. So now I've connected the servo, just similar like the old one, the same pin. So let's power up and see if it works like how we want it. Yeah, sounds good. So that's it. It works now. So using this, you can build moving robots, robo cars, or any mechanical part which requires to rotate both the sides though you can get this full rotation so it's always fun to kind of hack the half rotation servos and you know make some you know, quick fix for your projects